If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. As Sorry says, 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. <laughs> the alliances hang out on Discord. Shh. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 tier and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Fire merch. <laughs> what terrible hosts we are, babe. <laughs> there was nothing here but the lights. <laughs> Okay, um, we are doing a yes marathon for the big homie DJ Nick, and uh, Vinny will be back here soon. I can't wait for him to. I have a trash can out in the hallway. It smells horrid. Um, okay, up next is Siberian Katru. Uh, but Vinny's not here, so I'll just hang out with you. Spirit Park, your nature as a human being, including your human soul, would be considered your substance. Yes, substance refers to the fundamental reality of a thing. So what he's calling a soul? Yes. So ask him if, yeah, so he's a, he's a dichotomist, right? Perk? Oh, probably. So that's probably close to where I'm coming. Right. Perk, are you a dichotomist or a trichotomist? All right, Revo in the house. Revo, thank you for being so accommodating. Here we go, guys. Song numero tres. Okay, Siber how would you say this? Siberian Katru. There we go. Siberian Katru by... Uh, yes. Yes. yes, let's yes, check yes, it yes, out. Yes. Whoa, I immediately feel good.
usually do this. I'm very sorry, Nick. Forgive me, but I, I gotta hear that. I gotta hear that segment again because it was so fucking beautiful. I'm sorry. I never really do this. You guys know we don't interrupt Interruptions, songs, but I really enjoyed that moment. I'm band. sorry. Fucking words, bro.
Easy. Wow. Wow. Is yeah. Correct. Forgive, forgive me, forgive me. I had to, I had to stop, I, I had to stop it and play that. That triple harmony was crazy, bro. I don't hear anybody doing. It, it was crazy because I was like, this is our third song in in a row, and this dude's voice is. I always think to myself like, if I'm playing guitar, I'm like, damn, I wish I had that setting, or like when I'm like. I'm playing or whatever, and I hear something from like two months ago. I'm like, yo, that setting was perfect. So I think about this guy's voice in the production. Like, I know he's got a good voice and things like that, and everybody else had good, but there was a certain kind of like production style that set the mm -hmm. like in the 70s music that. Yes, I agree. Like, yo, I wish we could bring that back. Like, even like little, little intervals, like not like the yeah, whole time, pieces, but yeah. like. It'd be crazy to have like a crazy metal blah 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 and then boom like a little thirty second mm, little yeah. you know I don't know eight bar little thirty second thing where it's like yo hmm, that would be interesting. I, I just think I, I just think like it's crazy to me like the stuff that defined these these time periods like eighties music like that electronica sound yeah. you know and, and then the seventies like bring it back Bring it back. Bring some of that shit back. Like there's there's a couple bands like Perturbator, for example, that's just retro and has that eighties yeah. kind of sound to it. Yeah. Um But <laughs> negative vibes. Kind of funny to think that Vin's dreaded genre descended from something this good. I agree. I can't stand I can't stand the genre of progressive, but these guys these guys are, are different. Maybe maybe the entire reason I don't like progressive is because everybody's trying to do a yes impression you see what i'm saying like you're trying to do a yes impression and you're not yes bro no you should name your band no and stop oh. trying to co oh. stop copying people that was a big uh, compliment for the band yeah like i don't know <clears throat> um katru means as you wish in the yemeni dialect of uh arabic really? there you are there you are shout out to all my yemeni friends yeah, man, like, I feel music back then was more experimental than today. Yeah, I mean, today, the music industry, we talked about this, like, a couple days ago. It, it, it incentivizes copycatting, like, yeah. by my, especially now in the YouTube SoundCloud era, where you could get famous, like, mm -hmm. literally overnight. I was looking I was looking at this Vlad video, this kid, Little Loaded. Like, he, he put the video out there, and then there was a guy that reviewed videos that had zero views. So he picked up this kid's thing, and then it went viral. That's and, it. like, literally, from the moment he put it on SoundCloud, 72 hours later, he had record execs calling him. Are you serious? Yeah, but it was all the typical drill shit. It wasn't any real. Like he, wow. he's like, yo, I put that together in three minutes, and I believe him. It wasn't very complex. But that my point is, like, you don't really see that happening a lot with metal, but you no. do see it a lot with rap. With rap, it's like every third person was a SoundCloud guy who got discovered. You know what I'm saying? And half, so it just, it huh. just, it, it. It perpetuates this sort of like just copy this and you just sound like this because oh, every record label wants their oh. version of this and their version of that. You know what I'm saying? That's oh. why King Vaughn is so different because he actually did all that shit. You can't yeah. replicate what he is because half of the reason people are listening to him is because they already knew what he was doing in the streets. So guys like that are like one in a million, but you could just keep replicating everything now. Like you look at the. I mean, no disrespect, but a lot of the, like, all you have to do is put in reaction channels for metal, and you'll see everybody's reviewing the same bands because the same bands are big. Mm -hmm. So, if I was a kid, if I was 18 years old, I would just sit there, study that, and then just replicate anything those people are doing, and, and then, you know, we'd have you, and that'd be it. We'd be famous. You know, like, honestly, like... Yeah, that's crazy. So, music like this is, I don't know, man, it's different now. You know what I'm saying? Like, music like this is... You gotta actually love the music. You know, it's hard because hmm. they got big because they were doing something new. 
You know what I'm saying? At the time, and the, the, the time period was different. So they had the, especially around the, the late 60s, early 70s, everybody was talking, uh, young people who were consuming music were talking about being open-minded, looking at new things, looking into Eastern philosophy, that type of thing. So it kind of encouraged a sort of Pink Floyd or a band like this to like experiment and stuff because everybody was like literally yeah. experimenting with yeah. psychedelics and everything. And so yep. now... That's the other thing that's crazy to me. It's like now people are not encouraged at all to experiment with any ideas. No. You know, like <laughs> you can't even say certain things. You'll get you'll get banned on Twitter. Like I didn't tell you that I was telling oh, I was tell, I was talking to M Def fan about this, but I mentioned something about uh, the CDC, and they 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 took down one of the videos and they threatened to give us a copyright strike and suspend the 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 channel for a week. Yeah, like. How far into the I mean, video did you say that? I guideline strike. How far into the video did you say that? It was pretty deep into the video. It That's was like more... 20 minutes into the video. Okay. But my point is like... Wow. My point is your surrounding culture influences yep. what kind of music you're going to hear yeah. at the popular level. That's why it's called pop music. Like your surrounding culture and then the, deba- the demands of the consumer... Mm-hmm. is going to so so you're not going to see a band like yes you know like what would have to happen is an already established band would have to say we're going to throw out what made us famous and we're just going to completely experience i think tool tool could go there like tool could do something completely untool like and it would it would garner massive attention like i would buy that record if tool really? said if tool came out with a song and it sounded nothing like tool has ever done before and then yeah. they said uh, here's ten bucks, and you can get in there. Like, and that was the only way you could get access to that music. I would absolutely pay that money. Uh, oh, well, I would yeah. pay that money to hear Tool do something completely opposite yeah, yeah. to what Tool has done. I agree. You see what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. like, there's not a lot of bands, in my opinion, that can do that now. Like, like, like this band was able to. Like them, Floyd, they just had. It's kind of like the way I think about it is like. The regular video games, because Daniel was talking about video games. Regular video games are just like, it's a 2D world, and you're going from A to Z, and you literally can't go backwards. Like, that's music. That's that's that's, that's right, pop music. But then, you know, as it advanced and you had other games, I'm, I'm thinking about a, a specific game right now, and I, I can't think about it. But you were basically you know, a hunter type thing, and it was a 360 environment, and you could literally go anywhere. Mm-hmm. And even if it had nothing to do with the quest, yep. you could go anywhere, explore shit, live an entire life, and never go back to your quest. Like, that's yep. bands like Pink Floyd, bands like this. It's like this completely open, 360, they could go anywhere. Mm-hmm. They could go anywhere, they could do anything, but it makes sense in the universe of the game. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing. Like, these guys, it makes sense what they're doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's just unbelievable to me. But the... The, the harmonies on this song were just absolutely bomb. It was insane. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what what did you get from it lyrically? I have to pick up the lyrics because, to be honest with you, I, I was just blown away by the sound, so I actually stopped looking at the lyrics. That's also what I did. I was just I was just writing. You know when they have, like, the Lazy River? You sit on a tube and it goes down. What was the name of the song again? This one this? is the Siberian... Cutrol or whatever. How Go ahead. You say that appropriately or correctly. Um, that's how this song. I just felt like I was like just riding the wave of the song all the way down. Well, yeah, and then what they did with that with those harmonies, bro. Like that shit is. Yeah, I was actually glad that you. Ba- I mean, I made a little bit of a hard time for you, but I I was glad you backed up that part of the song because I had kind of missed that. And then when you played it again, I was like, yo, that was really good. Yeah, they they just. It's, it's like I said, like, I've heard, obviously, we've li- li- listened to literally thousands of songs. Like, I've heard harmonies before, but not like that. And it was just so fucking clean, bro. That was just yeah, really, really good. Okay. Sing Bird of Prey. Beauty begins at the foot of you. Do you believe the manor? Gold, stainless nail, torn through the distance of man as they regard the summit. Even Siberia goes through the motions. Hold out and hold up, hold down the window, outbound river. Hold out the morning that comes into view, blue tail, tail fly. River running right on over my head. 
How does she sing? Who holds the ring? And the ring and you will find me coming. Cold, reigning king. Hold all the secrets from you as they produce the movement. Even Siberia goes up the motions, etc., etc., etc. So, uh, so what was your take on what was your take on it? I don't have a take. Oh, I see. You don't have a uh -uh. take. I was waiting for Nick to give his take because he usually has. And uh, I'm, I'm go honestly, ahead. I'm still confused by. Huh. Look at the refrain. River running right over, then over my head. Outboard river, blue tail tie play. Uh, Luther in time. Sun tower asking. Cover, lover, June cast, moon fast. As one changes, heart gold lever. Soul mark, mover, Christian, changer. Called out, savior, moon gate climber. What, what is he doing? Turn round glider. Uh, so, so there's one guy that's theorizing. Look, the, the lyrics were just part of the sound. Like, it wasn't really there to be intelligible, uh, uh, like, cognitively. You were supposed to get it emotionally because it goes with the rest of the, it oh, goes well, with the song. Oh, well, then, see what I'm saying? yay for us, if that's what it was, because we both just wrote the well, song. People, people always say, yeah, right, right, that we did that. We did that properly then. Yeah. But I always feel like people say that when they can't uh, understand stuff themselves. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I always feel like people say, oh, it's just... Yeah, whatever. Well, Nick said unity among uh, torn, different cultures. Torn through the distance of man as they so regard the summit. Cultures. Even Siberia goes through the motions. Hold out and hold up. Hold down the window, outbound river. How does she sing? Who holds the ring? And the ring you will find me coming. Even Siberia goes through the motions. Hold out and hold up. Blue tail. And then he says Luther. I know. I mean, I'm assuming he's talking about Martin Luther because it says That's Christian. That's what I assumed. Because it says it was Christian, Christian changer, called out savior, moon gate climber. So you got a blue tail tail fly. That's a blur that's a bird, right? Luther yeah, in time. That's... Sun tower. At what is a sun tower? I've never heard of a sun tower. Ooh, I don't know. Does anybody know what a sun tower is? For. A I thought for first a of all that's that a badass that's a time. badass I, I like the word itself I, sun no. tower wait what would you say you know like they used to have those um it would tell a time by casting the shadow okay so it looks what? like sun towers are a hotel what yeah I put sun tower in there and it's it just it's a laid-back hotel in Fort Lauderdale <laughs> I doubt very highly it's... he's talking about the sun tower hotel um yeah Okay, so lyrically, I'm not really sure where he's going. I mean, there is a dolly do de de da right there in that verse. Mm -hmm. So, like, that goes to the idea that it's just, you know, to, to, to make a sound in itself. But the unity among the cultures thing might be the closest thing to it, in my opinion. Because he says, even Siberia goes through the motions. And Siberia is, you know, a very cold, mm. you know. So I've heard. You know, whatever. So it looks like he's saying, like, even down there in this in this in this place, like there there's something that like connects all of us. LV Looper says lyrics were written to complement the music. His vocals as an instrument in and of itself, not to convey meaning. Wow, that's that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. So then, although I would say it's still conveying a meaning, just not. Yeah. From the. The cognitive mechanism of picking up the meaning isn't isn't what they're going for. They're going for more the emotive kind of part of you that that does that. I I like stuff like this. This is kind of unique because, um, and the other thing too is I don't know. Sometimes I write like this, like it seems all abstract, but it is coming from a certain mood or feeling. Right. That might not be able to be understood lyrically. Right. Um, but when I when I reread it, I'm like, yeah, I know what I was feeling. Um, so, yeah, that's really interesting. Uh, I'm going to give this one... Ha, huh, Revo has an interesting take. Sun Tower could be the Tower of Humanity going towards the sun, like going to the end of the dark tunnel. Very possible. Mm -hmm. um, this one, I'm going to give this one a, a 9 point... Mm, 9.3. This is a 9.8 to me because of that sound, bro. That that sound was just uh, crazy to me. It was really really good. 
Uh, it's a 9.8 for me. Would you give it? Uh, I think I give it a 9.3. All right. There you are, dear listeners. Stay tuned. We have more. More on more the way. More coming your way. More coming your way. Okay, guys. Uh, we shall return. The Yes Marathon continues, bitches. Vin out. Sorry, I. Go. On.